And Rutgers has been doing well, even with McConnell out for the first five games, and Paul Mulcahy missing the last two, now three as well. He's out today. The Rutgers wins the opening tip, and there is the freshman Derek Simpson going up and under. So it's going to force Rutgers to kind of push a lot of their defenders out towards the perimeter, right around that, right that three-point line, contest every shot. Late in the shot clock, Amos hoists and connects, and case in point right there in his Central Connecticut debut, coming off a team-high 13-point showing last time out in an arrow loss to Maine, as Spencer got right inside. Snotty calls for the Brown screen, and Simpson jumped the passing lane, but was a tick late, and it results in a Sweatman lay-in. They've gotten baskets right near the paint area. McConnell off the feed, no. Spencer on the second try, good. Sweatman trying to attack the rim and got bumped off the spot by Spencer. Rutgers running, Simpson gets the contact and finishes anyway. Six on the timer, and the pass picked away by Spencer. This is his first steal of the day. He'll get it back for the three and drills another. Coming in here as a freshman, he's 250 pounds. He's built like a linebacker, or built like a tight end, I should say. In fact, he got offers to play tight end. So he's just one of those players that is going to be a very key component. And thought about the step back instead to the corner. It's TJ Holloway, a freshman guard, missed it there. Miller running and lays it in. Nice stagger step from Jalen Miller for his first two points of the day. Just picked up that technical foul, Dom, just a moment ago. Here's a turnover. And it's Scandalbury ahead of everybody, but Hyatt blocked it away. No thanks. Well, one, one out of two at the line there for Amori, who goes to chase that down and steals it away. Amori, like a cornerback. Spencer trying to polish it off, and he does. It's Cam Spencer right now having the game of his young Rutgers career. Can okay, the Blue Devils shake the scoring rust from the first half? Well, they'll need to get Kellen Amos going, and that'll certainly help. Simpson marking Amos. He's in the lane. He lays it in and one. Nifty move by Kellen Amos. What's described as a knee tweak. Backdoor cut, and Amos is able to get around everybody. He's got the first six points in his. Now Brown getting some minutes with Abdul Momo, the starting center, picking up three first half fouls as Scandalbury gets all the way to the rim. Tough to do when you have three guys around you, however, but kind of a bailout foul that time by the Blue Devils. Quick in for Wolfolk and lays it in. But in the case of Caleb McConnell, he's one of the best at assisting. Sometimes you get caught in that frame of mind where you try to give the ball up too frequently and it actually hurts you on the offensive end. It's Spencer on the steal, looking for reinforcements. And Mag nearly put it in. Amori there for the cleanup. Well, it's certainly an improvement from the first few minutes of the second half where Central Connecticut really came out of the locker room with a lot of energy. Rutgers was a little bit lackluster. Now it seems they've kind of found the stride that they had in the first half as Mag drills that three. Barely grazes the rim. Miller, oh, that's blocked away. Kellen Amos read the up and under. Spencer inside for Mag, blocked again. Looking for the open man, that's McConnell who swerves in. Hyatt attacks, blocked away. But Reber found it, and now Simpson gets a try. And rattles in the three. First three of the day for Derek Simpson. And now Hyatt nearly has the steal. And Wolfolk comes up with a deflection. Lobs it ahead. Hyatt for Simpson. There's your highlight, young man. I described as a six foot nine bullseye shooter. Well, that was on point right there for sure. And layup good, plus one. As Rogers shares to Trey Breland. And Reber blocked it away. Running the break, here's Stevens. Staggering, stepping in and laying it in. That counted, or would have counted from Stevens. And that'll do it here from Piscataway. End to end, tip off the final horn. A complete victory for Rutgers on Thanksgiving weekend.